I, I, I can't find the words to describe. In the middle of the Red Sea, the desert behind us, ready to snorkel. Mamma mia! Let's have a natural mask. I really hope there are no snakes or crocodiles here. Beyond that gate is one of the most strikingly beautiful and spectacular areas in Sharm el Sheikh, the Nap Park Reserve. Behind me there is the army security check, so I don't want to fill them because they don't like it. But I want you to appreciate this area. You see there are these boats for the Bedouins, the fishermen. They go there, you'll see there is a village farther on. From here you can appreciate Charm. You can see we're so close to Charm, but so many few tourists know about this area. Even locals. And look at the colors here, it's incredible. Water is hot today, very nice. We pass the military check and here's where slowly the ambient starts to change. Row, desert all around, sea, it really starts to feel we're already 500 kilometers away from Sharm el Sheikh. And this is just the beginning. We are now at a Bedouin camp. There is so much to see in this area, but it was very important uh, for me to show you here. Amelegum. Alhamdulillah. Who is the Bedouin? The Bedouin is called the Sayyadin. It's called the Sayyadin. In Italy. Oh, how are you? Good. Thank you. We made it to Goma's camp. There is a barbecue and a little kitchen. I wish you were here. I wish you could feel the peace, the wind, the sea in front of you, the mountain. This is a magical place. Such a peace. I could stay here the whole day, but it's time to snorkel. of the Red Sea, the desert behind us, ready to snorkel. Mamma mia! GoPro ready and rolling, time to go! in the Red Sea is always incredible and here where you have nobody around look at this you it's you and nature unparalleled here's our fantastic tea thank you man oh the true taste of Egypt As you're driving through the desert, suddenly an explosion of green 
and this mangrove area. It reminds me a bit the mangrove area in uh, Ras Mohammed. And in these areas you often have many birds that come because there are crabs and little frogs uh, they can eat. This is why the birds come here to have a feast of these little dudes. Chill bro, I'm not a bird. Go on, stick. I really hope there are no snakes or crocodiles here. Somebody left his kayak here. It's probably somebody who went to fish. Yeah. I'm really wondering if this mud uh, is uh, healthy for the skin. Let's give it a try. Let's have a natural mask. And at the end of the video, or maybe before, <laughs> I get rid of it and you tell me if my skin looks better. Yeah. Wow, the smell. There's round down fishing net. As Goma told us before, the whole economy of the tribes here is a bit of tourism, but mainly fishing. There is another camp right there. I'm so stoked to show you this area because it's probably the most beautiful. The waters here are incredible and there is the relict of the Maria Schroeder. I don't know if you can see it behind my back. The relict of the Maria Schroeder, we're gonna get there. But look at the shades of blue here! Let's go to the Maria Schroeder! I mean, this is really unreal. Look at the colors, the shades of white. It reminds me a bit of uh, Salar de Uyuni. It's a magical place, I'm feeling like I'm in another planet, you know? Surrounded by the sea, the mountains, the desert, these colors. Whoa! We're close, but we have to walk really carefully. My feet are a bit tired. I got a few punctures from plants, probably, hopefully. Now, forgot my keys with me. You can see there the kind of uh, sunk boat, little boat. I don't know what it is. I'll try to get there and leave my keys there. Hopefully, they don't get wet. And then we approach the Maria Schroeder. So we got here, this is filled with water. Uh, so my best bet is try to, to hang or just leave the key here somewhere. Is that gonna work? I don't know. There you go. I found the perfect spot for my key. Maria Schroeder, I'm coming. All right, that's why you gotta bring shoes with you. Luckily I've seen them. So we gotta be extremely careful here because they're like black clouds and I see them everywhere. Wow. We did it guys. We passed the coral reef. We're into the blue. Oh, that was intense. I guess the mud is gone by now. Am I looking better? Is my skin younger and more shiny? Yeah. We can't get any closer. There's another reef here. We'd really need the shoe, but trust me, being so close to it, it's so strange. It sank more than seven years ago and it's torn in two pieces. You see this? And that part over there, there's also a kind of cart on top. It looks like a mini tank. I doubt that it's a tank. <laughs> yeah. It's speechless, I can't find the words to describe. And you know, put these like, if this place was full of tourists, it probably wouldn't be so magic. But the fact that it's us, the boat, the desert and the mountain, we are, I, 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 I can't find the words to describe. Time to get back on land. I really wish to come here another time with, uh, with proper equipment get over the coral and really touch the boat and have some special shots some slow-mo with the waves crashing by but yeah unbelievable you want to organize a trip here let me know now let's get back 
that is where our keys are. We're getting close to the coral again and I'm not gonna hide the sea urchins, those sea hedgehog, kind of scary. Good thing is the water of the Red Sea are so clean and crystalline. I can see on the water without goggles as well. That was incredible. It's quite the walk. It doesn't seem to so, but when you have to walk through mud and corals, it was intense. But uh, you can imagine yourself. And I mean, let me know if you enjoyed the video. If you wanna come here, uh, please contact me if you need a tour. And there is so much more to discover inside. But for today, I guess that's all. And uh, I mean, if you share the video, like it a lot, I could do a part two of the National Reserve in Napk. Unbelievable place. Egypt was made easy again.